Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, who, alaikum assalam. Who is with me? Um, it's Adaf bringing from Durban, UK. Durban. May Allah bless you. Okay. What can I do for you? Okay. First of all, Ya Ali Madad. Um, yeah. I have two questions and I'm mm -hmm. really hoping that you can answer them both for me. Yeah. Um, my first question is, what were the circumstances that the Prophet, peace be upon him, had to marry someone like Aisha? And when this decision was made, how did the Prophet feel? If there are any hadith on this? And my second question, um, I'm not sure if this is true or not. Um, so I just want to know if it is true. And if it is true, if you can share some details on this. Did the Prophet have two daughters that were not their biological daughters and who passed away before Mubaila? And one of, one, one of them was married to Usman. If this is true, I just want to know who their mother was and when this was, please. Okay. Thank you, Sitchab. I'll just answer these questions. Question in, Thank in you so much. Thank you. Allah Allah. 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 Keep you well. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. With regard to marrying Aisha, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam married many women after his migration to Medina. And that was on the account of the psychology of Arab. Because uh, an Arab, the system of society, the political system was tribal system. And if you were a member of a tribe, even if you were a criminal, even if you were a bad person, you would always enjoy the support and protection of that clan, that tribe. And one of the ways to become a member of a tribe was to marry into the tribe. And then Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam married into different clans, into different tribes. And that was to, because there were very few Muslims and those Muslims need, needed protection. And once he became a member of a tribe, once he married into a tribe, almost he became a member of that tribe. Even today, that's, that even today in Arab society, that is true in many areas of the Arab, whereas there's still the tribal, tribalism is very prevalent. This is like in certain uh, portions of Iraq, but majority of Iraq, Arab Iraq, that, that is the case. If you get married into a tribe, that tribe protects you and that tribe supports you. Um, and even in the cities, it's just not in the rural areas, even in the cities in Baghdad, in Basra, in Najaf, in Kufa, tribalism is very prevalent. And there are, there are sheikhs of um, the chiefs of different tribes who always have meetings and they, they engage in, um, in, um, in solving issues and problems and settling, settling uh, conflicts between uh, different members of different tribes. So that was very important for the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to that in Surah Al-Hujurat. ضَرَبَ اللَّهُ مَثَلًا لِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِمْرَأَةً نُوحَ عَمْرَةً لُوتْ كَانَتَا تَحْتَ عَبْدَيْنِ مِنْ عِبَادِنَا صَالِحَيْنِ فَخَانَتَاهُمَا So this is not the first that has happened in the history of apostleship and prophethood. That a person of um, impeccable character has married to a, a woman of questionable character. And Nuh alayhi salam. Nuh alayhi salam, all Muslims believe in Quran and all Muslims um, cannot deny that the Holy Quran in Surah Al-Hujurat clearly states and in many other places in the Quran that the wife of Nuh alayhi salam was not a decent woman. Likewise, the wife of Lot, Prophet Lut alayhi salam. So whatever is the answer of uh, our brethren, Shia, Sunni brethren, with regard to the marriage of Nuh and Lot with their wife, wives respectively, that answer is ours with regard to the marriage of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with Aisha. And imagine what the important thing is that this very verse, this has been revealed, this was descendant for condemnation of Aisha and for the scorn of uh, Hafsa. So the Quran settles the score. With regard, did the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have other daughters? Of course, he had four daughters. And Sahih Shia Hadith, this mentioned, and there is no need to deny that. The Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had four daughters. And there is no Shia Hadith that denies the existence of any other daughter than Fatima Zahra sallallahu alayhi And uh, that daughter was married, one daughter was married to Uthman, but she never... Um, dwelled with Uthman. She never lived with Uthman. She died before she moved to Uthman's house. And then when she died, Uthman married the other daughter of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And uh, there's a story behind that and, and how Uthman mistreated her and 
and basically through abuse and violence kill her. So that is the story of the daughters of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the other daughter of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, third one was married to one of her cousins from Quraysh. But none of these ladies were as prominent and as outstanding and as, and as, um, as um, praiseworthy as Fatima Zahra Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Quran and Sunnah.